Welcome to Heartland Supernatural. Today we are talking about... <clears throat> Today we are talking about paths. More specifically, what happens when we trail off the path. We have some incredible stories from people who strayed off the path and ended up in places... <clears throat> Sorry, <sighs> one sec. I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay. <clears throat> uh, today we have some incredible... Are you guys seeing that? That. Uh, do any of you see that? Felix? D do you see that? I need to go. Um, <clears throat> no, I, I, I need to go. Sorry. Welcome to the Beating Heartland, created by Denver Bomber. Episode 12, The Interrogation. Want some water? Um, I'm fine. Sit yourself. Uh, you wanna take these handcuffs off me? <laughs> I'm fine. Funny. Okay. So you said you wanted clarity. Yes, although I'm not sure you're capable of that. We'll see. Okay, what's, what's that supposed to mean? Well, have you been able to clarify anything for yourself? You've been working on finding answers for... How long? A little over a year now. According to you, January 3rd, 2022. Basement. Dead dad. Presumably. Presumably? Okay, Okay. what's happening here? We go through all of this and only now want to talk to me. You seem disappointed. You mentioned wanting to talk multiple times. Well, okay, yeah, but this isn't what I was- Excellent. What caused you to go into the basement on January 3rd? I- <sighs> Ariadne said it could be a good idea. Ariadne said, The therapist who doesn't talk during her sessions? Not an extremely helpful therapeutic technique, that. Why does she do it that way? It must be an easy job, listening without offering any help. Oh, well, you would know. <laughs> Touché. My statement still stands. It's her method. It works for me. Does it? Yes. Besides, she does talk sometimes. Especially outside of sessions. Just not on the recordings. She must wipe those. Why? I don't know. But she's effective, okay? It's really easy to talk to her, air out problems. It helps. As you say. So she was the one who recommended you look into things. Why? After hearing my crazy stories for so long, she thought it would be helpful. I, I guess. I was so confused, lost. She recommended I do something about that. How kind of her. <laughs> you certainly seem to remember things better around her. Yeah, I, um, <clears throat> I do. Why? I don't know. It's safe. <laughs> safe? Safe how? I, I feel protected. <laughs> so for the last year, you've just been what? R researching. Trying to piece together all of this. I mean, I said that when I came in yesterday. Yesterday? To be brutally honest with you, you've done very little piecing together. Well, it's not exactly easy, but... I... But you needed help. <sighs> Couldn't remember without Ariadne. Yeah. Couldn't yeah. make sense of it without us. Obviously. Are you frustrated by that? It's like I have no autonomy. I, I I can't even... What do you see? <clears throat> what? Sorry, uh... uh daydreaming. <laughs> huh? About what? I, oh, I don't... No, um... Let's change topics. Who murdered the people, Denver? Oh, um, I, I have no clue. No guesses? Come on. If I knew, I wouldn't be here. I I'd be... What? Where, where would you be? <laughs> what time is it? 
is is it late? It, it it feels late. I should probably get. You don't remember, do you? How long have we been at this? How many recordings have we listened to? Do you remember any of it? Of course I do. There's just. Uh, what are the answers? Why is this happening to you? I, I don't. That's why I came to you guys. Can we just slow down for a second? Hmm. What? What's what's wrong? I can already see it fading from your eyes. See what? Run back the recording. Wait, you're just going to leave? See you soon. Today's episode, Camp. Why are we camp listening to a recording about camp? Who we are as kids. Why, Sam? Who killed your dad? <laughs> what? Now? Who killed your dad? Quickly. I, I don't... I don't... Sorry, what's your name again? Philip Kaysen. No one you can think of who would write that letter to your mom, show up at the hospital while you were healing, read children's books to you, confess his love for her? I... I, I don't... How about this? The burned bodies. If you had to name a list of suspects, who would you put? <sighs> Director Summers. Yeah, it makes sense. Presumably, he caused the death of Sam and others. It makes sense you would want it to be him. Unfortunately, he's still missing. Who else? The, the doctor, maybe? <laughs> Dr. Verdon Winster? Unlikely, since the killer seemed to have an argument with him. Not the burned bodies, at least. Who else? The, 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 the principal? Uh, Mrs. Nevins? Who else? I don't know, Philip. I, I just don't know. Sure you do. You've been researching this for a year. There's enough information in that head for at least a few more suspects. Okay, okay, uh, Sally. Definitely not. Have you been seeing her recently? No, no, I... I haven't. A actually... Why did she leave? So, earlier... You didn't see her. Earlier? Never mind. What about the man with the hat? Oh, uh... <laughs> Uh, sure. W why him? You've mentioned him enough times. Well, sure, but he's just, uh... I, I mean, he doesn't... Huh. Something to consider. What about the police chief? He hasn't been very helpful. I realize that's not a lot to go on, but he is frustratingly bad at his job. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but how does this help? We've already discussed all of these people before. I'm trying to get you to see something. See all the possible angles of this. For all your stories, we have very little to go on so far. I'm trying to speed up this process. I'm running out of time. What? Running out of time? For what? They don't want to do this much longer. The team. Doing what? What exactly are you doing? They don't care about your answers. I do. O okay, why? It doesn't matter right now. Uh, the emotions are already fading. Run back the recording. Wait, wait, don't leave. I'll be back, but we need to keep you remembering. What's happening? Today's episode, Camp. Camp is where we find out who we are as kids. Why, Sam? Different topic. Why do you think so much strange stuff happens in this part of the country? What? Your radio show. The stuff that's happened to you. Folklore going back to the 1700s. Why is there so much centered on this region of the map? I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of other places. Some, sure. But not like this. You know that. This area is different. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Growing up, I thought I was the only one. But then... The radio show made me realize how many people were experiencing the same things I was. Not at the same regularity as you, though. What makes you special? Special? I, I don't know about that. I don't want to think about that. There's something off about this place. I noticed it when I first got here, and it's the same as when... Never mind. Wait. You have a story. Something happened to you. Doesn't matter. Sh sure it does. Where are you from? I this is my job. Doesn't matter. What makes you forget? I was just in... What? Your memory. You've been researching this for over a year now, but still haven't been able to piece it together. 
It's like something is fogging your mind. You've said as much before. You need Ariadne to help you remember and us to piece it together. What makes you forget? Well, do you think I'm going to remember that? Just something to think about. What did you see? <clears throat> what? That there's just something behind. Never mind. Uh, what was I saying? Okay. The feeling you get. Explain it to me. That natural gut instinct of yours. It's astonishing. Oh, uh, well, it's always kind of been there. Always? You don't remember the first time? I I guess it was the basement. So, do you think your dad gives you the feeling? I hope so. Why do you say that? It's nice to know you're not alone. If I were to ask you, you You need need to find me. me. Uh, What? What? Philip, are, are you doing okay? I don't have time for this. You all need to give me more time. There's something here. You're already forgetting again. We're going to have to keep doing this the hard way. Oh, I'm not good at this. <laughs> what's what's the hard way? Uh, n- never mind. Philip, just a second ago, you... You'll remember in a minute. Wait! Today's episode, camp. Camp is where we find out who we are as kids. <sighs> Sam. I think I have another tactic that might work. It better. Not getting anywhere yet. Never was great at puzzles. What's going on here? Why do you keep replaying that recording? Oh, you remember this time. Great. What? Look, I just need some ant- Timeline of events of what we know so far. (sighs) Maybe this will knock things around in the head of yours. You were born on January 1st, 2000. Your dad died a few days before that. We aren't sure why. His car was found in the woods next to town, but otherwise there were no traces until you found him when you were eight years old in your mother's basement. The whole miracle birth thing happened in the hospital and the medical director as well. Creepy, to put it lightly. Please, just what are we doing? Quiet. Your aunt dies when you're ten years old and is eaten by the graveyard. She then tells you about the tree and to search for it. The fact that you promptly forget. You met Sam and had the whole experience at the school at around age twelve. The principal, Mrs. Nevins, man with the hat made a special guest appearance. You then met Sally and had that wonderful date. The man with the hat saves you. Fast forward to age 13. You find the dead bodies in the cornfield and the monster seemingly guarding them. The police chief just precious little to look into it, but by all the signs, we are dealing with a serial killer. Same burned bodies, so your dad wasn't the only one. After that, so far, we have camp at age 15 and everything that happened there. There's a lot more material to cover between those dates and going forward, but let's focus on the ones that piqued your interest. What do you mean by the ones that piqued my interest? I mean, how many more are there? Hush. Fast forward to 2020 and the wonderful year that was. <laughs> when you got the radio position, Felix joins you as an intern. Sally writes to you, causing quite the scene. Ariadne writes in at one point. You find her crazy story endearing and want to get therapy from her. You do. Early 2021. This goes on for a while therapy recordings, spilling your life story, and the radio show. Some other horrific event seems to happen during this, but nothing that spectacular at the moment. Of course, there could be hints in there, but I'm working on the assumption that the ones that catch your eye are the ones that matter. Oh, oh, that's what this is about. Hush, listen. 2022 rolls around, and Ariadne convinces you to start looking into these things more thoroughly, possibly hoping it'll help your memory. She saw there was more to this than unreported events. You go to the basement again. Surprise, you learn that the body was your dad. This fuels the fire, and you start searching and compiling more when possible. It's very, very disorganized and looks insane because you can barely remember the connecting points. Sometime around November, Ariadne learns about us and convinces you to send the information to us. How did she know about us, by the way? I I don't know. Great, thanks. Well, we ignored it for the longest time. It looked like insane ramblings because they are and the rest of my team still thinks that's what it is hey they were well organized sure december rolls around and felix has his whole thing he invites you to flipping patties in mid-december and you promptly forget about the experience you then have a therapy session you finally talk about the death of your aunt with ariadne after that it takes a few days but on december 21st you go to the tree and find the book and the letter that sound about right did, did the tree 
really happened less than a month ago. Yes. Huh. What's the matter? I, you know, it's just hearing it all sped through like that is strange. What other pieces need to fall into place? This isn't all of it, obviously. Still trying to piece together the insane ramblings you brought us, but is there anything you can add in all that? Please, work with me here. I want to help you. I know I'm a broken record, I just don't know. Okay. Let's start simpler. What happened after the tree? You stormed out emotional from therapy after reading the letter. What happens between that and here? If you're gonna hate me, I, I don't know. Come on, it's in there. Say it. Okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> I, I wasn't doing great. Uh, the letter shook me up. Uh, there was a recording session for Heartland Supernatural. This recording? Are you guys seeing that? That? Uh, do any of you see that? Felix? <laughs> do you see that? I need to go. Um, <clears throat> no, I, I, I need to go. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> that one. You can do it. I see it in your eyes. You're so close. What did you see? It was, um, it's, it's behind you. Okay. What is it, Denver? <laughs> it's, uh, it's a cave. Really? That's, that's it? A, a cave? How does that help us? I can, I can feel it. The same pulling in your gut? Okay, good. It, it, it wants me to go in. Go in, Denver. There's a man. Who is this man? I, I can't tell, but he wants me to follow. Follow into the cave? Do it. Who is it? I, I, I can't. I can't tell. It's... <sighs> it's it's gone. Uh... <laughs> uh, right. Okay. What does it mean? I wish I knew. Ever seen a cave like that before? Maybe. I don't... I don't think so. <sighs> right. You have, have to find, find me. me. Why do you keep saying that? Saying what? Y you have to find me. I... I didn't... Let's run back the recording. Wait, just... Please, just don't play that again. Again? So you remember listening? Of course I do. I'm not gonna just forget about Sam and... <laughs> What's happening to me? Why are you doing this? Just talk to me. I I've tried everything you've said. All the suspects, all the possibilities, all the theories. I, I, I know I've thought of them all before. Probably solved this hundreds of times before, but I don't remember them the next day. Do you know what that's like? So, why make me relive it over and over? Okay, the truth. You remember better when you're dealing with trauma. We realized it quickly. Recordings helped in two ways. It helped you remember the events, which gave us more clues, and brought back the trauma you pushed down. I don't know why trauma helps. My current theory is that any heightened emotion will do it, but the trauma was most accessible. So you were just, what, fine with making me go through that? Anything for results. Harsh. Reality. I don't know how Ariadne knew about us. We're not that large a group. Honestly, kind of a black sheep in the agency. You get unloaded to this team when you mess up or they want to tuck you away. Researching into all the strange goings-on in America. Most of us don't believe the things are real. But we believe that people are monsters. The true monsters. And following the stories can help reveal them. The problem is, while I have my theories from what you said, there's way too much missing. So, you don't believe me? I didn't say that. Only that most don't and never will. I'm here for you. I have been for the last couple weeks. What? 
How long do you think you've been here? I, I, I came in yesterday. I passed out that one time and wound up handcuffed to this bed, but that, that was last night. Try closer to two weeks. T -t two weeks? No, 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 that, that can't be. Play the recording. <laughs> what is that? That's why the handcuffs. Almost every night you have these night terrors. The thrashing is so loud. Do you remember any of these? No. No, I, I, I don't. The current theory is that you're reliving the memories in your sleep. I assume you don't remember your dreams. I, 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 I never have. What's wrong with me? A very good question. Okay, hold on. If my memories are this bad, how can I remember anything? It's spotty. Again, trauma. Memories you, or something else, don't want you to remember get repressed. You remember the big, important brush strokes? Unless you're around Ariadne. Or have heard the story recently. It's our only thing to go on. As Felix discovered, almost everything is gone, wiped from records. So we got you. Or the people who have sent in stories to your radio show. But that hasn't proved especially useful. Except for Ariadne and Felix, but they've gone missing. Missing? Are, are, are they okay? As far as we can tell, us bringing you in and a few more events set them off. We saw recordings of them meeting up with each other. We're hoping Ariadne tries to send you a letter. Or already did and it hasn't arrived yet. B wait, bringing me in? I, I came here... Did you know? Yes, I mean... I, I thought I... I return to my earlier question. What happened after the tree? I... I, I did the recording session. Saw the cave. Wait. I think I know what's happening. I did something, didn't I? I didn't come to you guys. You came to me. You brought me here. And I couldn't remember that. You started talking when we threw you in here, acting like we were here to help you figure this out. Everyone thought you were crazy. Everyone still thinks you're crazy. The info you sent us a couple months ago, well, it showed signs of... Insanity? Do you remember who you killed? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, no, I, I didn't, I, I, I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> we need you to remember, Denver. I need you to remember. I'm taking a big risk believing your stories. And if they are true, I think I can help you. I need you to remember. I need you to find, find me. me. Stop saying that. Okay, why are you saying that? Let's just calm down, okay? I just... I don't remember. Why would I kill somebody? Who was it? Who, who did I... Who did I... Just... <sighs> Sally. She's, she's back. Where? She's, she's right over... She's just right over there. What's happening? I just... Please, I just need... <laughs> well, that went about as well as I thought it would. I know you're all listening. I'm not giving up, and you're not putting him away yet. Denver has the information I need. I'm bumping Summers to primary suspect. Don't rule out the other suspects yet. It's all twisted together. If we get word from Ariadne or Felix, tell me immediately. Denver needs to see it. Make a note that Sally is still around, and she likes to appear when he's at his worst. Do any of you know why he kept telling me to stop saying stuff? The Beating Heartland was written and performed by Denver Bauman. If you enjoyed the show, please rate and review us on whatever streaming platform you are using. 
follow us online at The Beating Heartland. Thank you for listening.